this week I'm testing the Nissan Qashqai. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. Nissan Qashqai there are Isofix in the two outer seats. They are within plastic guides and I found them easier to connect to this time. In the boot there are top tether anchorages on the back of all three seat backs and they are within plastic guides and nice and easy to connect through the boot. Now this time I managed to squeeze three child seats across the back here. You wouldn't get all seats across the back here, you'd have to pick very carefully and a basic booster was best for the middle. Now, I can only just squeeze in the back here and my shoulders are really compressed. So it's not really ideal for a passenger between two child seats. With forward facing child seats installed, we found about a 180 centimetre passenger could sit in front and with rear facing about a 170 centimetre passenger. Storage in the back of the Nissan Qashqai is quite compact, but it's practical. There's a fold down in the central seat back with two cup holders. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. There's a mat pocket on the back of both front seats. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. And there's a little shelf in the back of the central console box too. The door bins in the back will hold a 600ml water bottle but not a large refillable water bottle. And there's the little handle wells too. Storage in the front is quite good. There are two cup holders in the central console. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fit in them too. Behind them the central console box is quite small but it has the two sections with a little um, lined tray in the top. In front of the gear lever is a small phone charging well with a 12 volt socket. The glove box is a good size in here, it would hold my iPad and wallet with the manual. There's no sunglasses case in the ceiling but the front door bins will hold a large refillable water bottle and an iPad fit in them too. The boot door of the Nissan Qashqai opens and closes manually but silently. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty it will hold 10 shopping bags, or a twin side-by-side -side stroller and two shopping bags, a tandem stroller and three shopping bags, a single stroller and four shopping bags, or a compact stroller and seven shopping bags, or a medium-sized dog. Qashqai is not a bad little car to drive. It is a bit revvy when you accelerate and especially when you're going up hills. Because of its size, it's good around town, school car parks, things like that. It's just an easy car really, not particularly smooth, not anything to write home about, but it is good. The media system in the Qashqai is quite basic still, however it is a little bit tricky still to use and navigate. It does have CarPlay, which is good. When I put it into reverse, the camera image is pixelated and these views are very small. However, it is good to have the bird's eye view and you've got the left curve view as well. So to sum up with the Nissan Qashqai, there's been some good improvements since the last time I tested it. The Isofix in the back definitely work now and I could just squeeze three child seats in, which is really good. The boot space is very good, the media system has Apple CarPlay and it's not a bad little family SUV. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au